So this was how my last game started I was pacing back and forth like I just butt chugged a 2 liter bottle of Mountain Dew and my urethra was ready to pop out of my tits all because I knew that Frank the Tank was being a nub in the shrubs ready to anchor me to my own base if I stepped into the same zip code as the wave. So where was my support you might ask? Well if you take a stroll through the office past the chode toad what's up Bob don't look at the dogs through the candy cane forest we're starting to get close now I can hear the music and ah yes, here was my support. So if you're wondering I lamed alone as he built like a buffoon delivered on the deep portion of his KDA asked for money and chat and constantly bowled himself into bad decisions against others who had three levels on him with a butt buddy in the area, all while a quick background check would have revealed that this performance was just exactly who he is. Yep this was my support and by the end of the game, I honored him? Now I'm guessing you need some context so let's go back to the beginning. No not when he was sucking off a rhino while flashing mastery as if he is trying to say something about his knob gobbling skills no let's just go back to lane phase where my facebook status is single while this cotton ball rolling just stain decided to take his talent to south beach to get a rabies wolf all wet and yes this did work magically as not too many top laners are probably expecting a kindergartner riding an abominable snowman to be eating their ass first thing in the morning but it's still all good. That is until he puts the keys back into the ignition of his bitch ball for a rolly road trip mid only to forget that one this snowballs version doesn't have three point turning and two, he's a board certified dumbass and the combination of those two things ends poorly. Side note apologies from the studio for the fact that my team has the red health bars and the replay system so it may get confusing, I'm being told that it's because Riot Games is a small company and their Kickstarter didn't meet its goal or something so their content creators who try to utilize their tools to tell stories and make this toxic piss pit of a torture simulation they call a game seem entertaining hate their life. Sincerely, Rav. 4 minutes into the game giddy bitty furry balls is finally clocking in at work to which he plows some snow my way and flashes his mastery twice before being on his way again. And I'm thinking I better find a way to approach the wave or I'll get too far behind. But I'm not giving you all the facts you see that cocaine breaded gummy bear did come to my lane once more. Then he said hey what's up gave the bad guys a fat check to keep making my life a living hell and gray screen ubered back to base. That said I was clearly the common denominator of getting dick because when that yelping yeti rider visited the other lanes things were about as smooth as a baby's ass cheek as long as you don't consider the outcome counter gank or the fact that my mid laner was playing Sejuani and you just focus on how it was a decent one for one trade and no one else on my team was going to die. Meanwhile I make the tragic mistake of pathing through a lane gooch. Which means I'm going to get a potato forcefully deep-throated and then a ship anchor for dessert leaving me in a series of unfortunate events that ends in none other than Hooded Henry being the douche to put the nail in the coffin. All this while Franklin the furry is up top living out one of those dreams where you can't complete a simple task for some reason until the dream becomes a nightmare and someone's weaponized fart cloud comes in with his smoky pokey arm stumps ablazing which ends up killing off the fat alcoholic five years earlier than his diabetes would have to which Warwick is like dumb bastards while Jinx is apologizing to me and Nunu is defending his intelligence. But here's the thing 2000 games over the last 10 years playing this masochistic role has only made me numb to my surroundings as you could give me a kitten kill it then tell me it's my support and I would be as cool as a trust fund baby on tiktok thanks she is when she twerks at her divorce dad's beach home back so I stay hopeful thinking back to that time when David Bowie and Queen sang ice ice baby with vanilla ice creating something so flashy it was like double as flashy as anything else. Meanwhile I'm wondering how Arcane painted Vi as having some potentially girl on girl vibes yet I've been down here with the best set of knockers on the rift home alone all game damsel in distress while she's grinding beasts in the woods. Yay trolling cave troll toddler gets a kill but I now had the fed bladed Betty looking down my shirt and I know her intentions weren't family friendly. JK false alarm.
and hey a good support looks at you and says if you're dying under tier 1 tower then I'm also dying from tier 1 tower. But a great support looks at you spawns and says suck my furry ball sack I'm going back top because we may have a pick on this wolf psych bitch screw the good pick no one murders a river turtle on my watch as he fights for the baby's blood right in front of the big mama before getting Karen in kickboxing class hash and slashed to death. That said anywhere this dashing Scarlett Johansson is I don't wanna be so I packed up moved my tight ass mid and guess who is here if it wasn't that ball of dying shit to spur the first bot lane versus bot lane 2v2 of the game. Okay the synergy clearly wasn't there so I guess he figured the best thing to do was to go back to what he was doing before but on second thought maybe he would just super monkey ball his way bot into their fed dashing Darla and while he was still on the report spectrum at this point, I was still shit in kittens when I saw how close that one was. But the fact of the matter was that the champ who only mega virgins play was still alive escorting fail mary jinx ults and trying to kill my moronically off meta mid laner but guess whose gps said he has just arrived. Anyways Tin Twat and his anorexic gun slut make the mistake of thinking I will always be alone in lane but Pink Floyd with the swollen hands is here and apparently in the mood to beat the shit out of her little sister so I watch with joy and then we play a game of tag with a walking submarine until we catch him and I go hyperbulimia bullet time on his ass for the kill. Then against my better judgment I am shot calling the snow covered circus act to go be a meat shield against bladed betty and she tears a new asshole into that build a bear faster than I can say bitch lasagna and at this point we have the large rod stack strat to make up for his own small one with a shit kda and my top who honestly benefited the most from his inbred intelligence level strategy talking shit. But apparently he is a make believe self appoint mentee of the boss claiming his kamikaze kill my ass strat is bringing him wins. But I do have to say eventually him building literal flat AP was starting to force the butt buddies on the other team to respect his large sperm balls not to mention his frozen farts were getting dangerously close to working. They still had objective presence that comes with having 5 coherent humans on a team and despite a juicy alt lineup I was only able to euthanize one heroin addicted dog but then the lights go out which makes me want to sneak a quick one on that Ionian idiot before doing what I do best which is standing still and right clicking while getting all the credit. And here was the breaking point, all the trolling, all the puckering of my beautifully rounded ass cheeks by some detail oriented graphic designer at Riot was paying off because broken bitches were getting one shot by trolling yetis, I was then positioning worse than a dick in a garbage disposal and then letting my furry frenemy die instead. We were building our synergy with masturbating duets that failed miserably but still got the AD carry killed because that's what they do as I was delivering alts sponsored by 5gum commercials and being the poster child for big titted pirates who overcame adversity in their early years. Our main character was requesting genitalia in chat and my game plan was to wait for some pink haired mall cop to come in for a fisting only to load coke mentos and green food coloring into my pistols until every last one was dead, even those who should have their entire kits removed for the good of league's overall population. Blueberry fuck muffins over here was still getting caught like a carp with a hook in its mouth but at least now he was taking hose down with him. And by the end of the night every time I thought I was having a nightmare he'd come in like the snowball rolling support I always wanted growing up which allowed me to have an enjoyable end game, and after editing this video I am not super confident in my emotional decision at the end to honor him as if we had lost the game I might not have felt so forgiving so let me know in the comments if you would have reported him, honored him, or just did nothing knowing someone in your next game would end up pissing you off even more. Rav out. But my top is freaking 0 and 17. My mids map awareness is a fat meme.